Welcome back to the channel. Today is another knife review day. This is William. He's helping me introduce the QSP Penguin Plus. You like that, William? Oh yeah, he approves. And so do I. Let's talk about it. So this is the Penguin Plus. It's the larger version of the Penguin. Just look at those copper carbon fiber scales. That is a beautiful knife. Uh, it is also a durably built knife. So if I Compare this to the thickness of the blade on a bug out. Hopefully that'll get in focus for me. See how much thicker of a blade that is. This is a much more durably built knife than your typical EDC. Full titanium scale on this side, very thick 20 CV blade, which does hold an edge very well. I've been using this for several weeks. It's slightly more dull than when I got it, but only just. Uh, because of the shape of that blade, it makes a great EDC. That Warncliffe or sheep's foot style blade gets inside of things very well, cuts through things like tough zip ties very easily. Uh, that flat blade shape is effortless through paracord. Uh, it's very good even on tough nylon rope. Even if you get it back at the back there, there's not enough of a sharpening trail to catch on rope. I like that. I think that's well designed. Opening is good flipper action. The thumb stud is a bit tricky to use. I can get it with two fingers, one on either side. It's a bit tough on one on just the thumb side because my thumb hits that frame lock. This knife is actually a little better if you're a lefty. Uh, so, if you're lefty and you kind of are looking at this lock or at this knife, go for it. Uh, the pocket clip is switchable. So better action for the left-handed of us out there. Uh, this is it obviously next to a bug out. It's right in that EDC size range. Here it is next to a 940. It is heavier than any of those knives. This is about 3.9 ounces as opposed to 2.9 ish for these other knives. So definitely overbuilt some as an EDC, but I like that. I would prefer to have a knife that's overprepared as, uh, as opposed to having a knife that's a little too delicate uh, when I need something that's a little more burly than my EDC was really designed to do. Uh, so kudos to them for building a good EDC, uh, building a good steel into it so you have good edge retention, heat treating the steel well. I have absolutely no complaints with this yet. So definitely give this a look if it is in your price range. I do recommend going up to the 20 CV version rather than doing the lesser steels. Uh, they have a D2 version of this. I don't like D2 because I don't think it carries particularly well. It goes dull in your pocket quickly because it corrodes easily. Uh, obviously 20 CV, well known for more corrosion resistance. I am gonna test this, I think. We're gonna do another corrosion resistance set of testing videos coming up here soon. Uh, this is one that I plan to do with that. So highly recommended EDC uh, for this one. I am gonna do a little batoning here. Let me, uh, let me do some abuse for this knife. Let's do some uh, edge wear testing with the batoning and then we'll do some uh, tip testing on it as well. So here we go. There's my chunk of two by four. Let's baton this pretty good here. No issue there. I actually just wedged it. I hit a knot there. So decent there. No rolling, glinting, chipping, etc. We'll do a tip test here. Yeah, and I was able to chip out sides of that two by four. I did uh, kind of go sideways and wedge it up out of the two by four there. Absolutely, oh, I did get a little bit of a tip bend. So ah, there's a little bit of a bend there, interesting. Uh, heat treat is maybe a little soft on this. 
that is fixable. It will go back. Um, I'm going to bring this up so it zooms in on this and make sure you can see it. So there is the slight bend you can see on the tip there that I got from my testing. Uh, I will give you a good close-up shot of that beautiful carbon fiber with the copper in it. Uh, so I do still recommend this knife, uh, but it is a little soft on the heat treat there. Uh, didn't expect to find that. Hope this is a helpful review. Uh, check this out as a potential EDC. I will put up some edge retention test numbers at the end here and have a nice day.